This coming Sunday is the third Sunday of Lent. We are moving right along on our Lenten journey, our Lenten pilgrimage. The passage that we hear in the Gospel is the story of Jesus chasing the money changers out of the temple area. He became angry with them. It's a side of Jesus that we don't see very often. The Gospel is taken from John chapter 2, verses 13 to 25. Let's take a listen. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. It was the time of Passover and Jerusalem would have been very crowded with people coming to the temple to make their offering. When Jesus sees the money changers in the temple precinct, you might think of it as the kind of commercial activity moving into this sacred space. He became angry and he chased them out. These money changers also had a reputation for taking something from the coffers for themselves. So they were often known to cheat the system. And since there were so many people who had to buy an animal to be sacrificed, they were selling at exorbitant prices. Jesus becomes angry at this enterprise, all of the things that they are doing, stealing, overcharging, profaning a sacred space, and in his anger he chases them out. The disciples of Jesus do not fully understand what is going on. They can certainly see that Jesus is angry. When Jesus says, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up, they do not get the meaning. The Jews take the saying literally. They speak about the temple taking 46 years to build, but Jesus uses a different level of interpretation, and that is that he is the temple that will be destroyed and rebuilt. It will be his resurrection after he has been crucified. As he approaches the journey to Jerusalem and the place where he will be crucified, the crowds will then, then begin to remember what he had said. Jesus accepts what would happen, that he would indeed be crucified and be raised up. We do get angry sometimes, often at things we believe to be unfair or unjust. We can seek guidance from Jesus, take our time in responding to pursuing anger, some action that results from our anger. There is much to ponder in this passage. Let the gospel fill your week. See you in church. For now, God bless.